Okay. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to this week's um, Brewing with Bobby and Minka. Today we are going to be messing around with um, foam. Um, this was a, a massive request from last week, so we're going to be doing two different drinks involving two different ways of making foam. Um, and um, hi. As usual, I have my co-partner here, Minka, who is attacking me already. She's getting strawberries today. There you go, little monster. Um, so while we're waiting for people to, to jump on, just um, one or two, a couple quick reminders. Yes, I see you. So um, we did a collaboration coffee with Found Coffee where we sourced and roasted and sold um, a special coffee for their five year anniversary. And all of the proceeds, uh, every dollar we made on this, um, not just profit, like all the, all the revenue from it went to five different charities. We're completely sold out of this coffee. It went less than two weeks and we raised 55, 50 for five different charities, so over $1,000 per charity um, that found uh, pick for uh, their five year anniversary party. So um, all the numbers sort of added up really nicely for that. Uh, we're super proud to have been a part of this. Um, all of the charities she picked were related to COVID-19 um, issues and people who are struggling in this crisis. So, um, so we're super, super proud about that and we're very excited to have partnered with them on that and have raised so much money Hey Jam, how's it going? Um, so, with that being said, um, a few other shout outs. We wanted to just say hi to everyone who's still open, um, selling coffee, found, confidential, Cafe Aficionado, um, our shop in Santa Monica is still open, Yang's Kitchen on Alhambra, Constellation Coffee, Reverent, um, you know, all these small independent coffee shops, I can tell you right now, are really struggling. Um, government assistance has definitely not been there. All the money's going to you know, the Lakers and the Shake Shack. So there's not, not a lot left for the little guys who are owner operators like us trying to just, you know, make, um, you know, get two pennies together to rub together. So support your local coffee shops, buy coffee locally, support your local roasters. Um, because if you guys don't do it, I'm telling you right now, government's definitely not coming through for anybody these days. Uh, so with that little diatribe uh, done, we're going to jump into two different foams. So this is totally new to me. Um, everyone last week wanted us to work with foam, so I, I did my research and I talked to some bartender friends and our very own Stevie, who is um, a barista in Santa Monica, who used to be a bartender, told me how to do an egg foam. So we're going to start with an egg foam and then we're going to get into some of the gastro stuff that um, people wanted to, um, I'm sure people are more interested in. Uh, so first drink is, I don't even know what to call it, but it involves booze, so get excited. Um, there you go. So. Uh, we're going to start with egg whites. So take a, this is just one egg white. We're going to drop an egg white in here. And I've been told the secret to making egg foam is to do a dry shake before you add any of your other ingredients. So we're just going to shake this up for about 30 seconds, which is what I've been told is the move. I've only made this drink one time and I failed at making egg foam about a dozen times. So bear with me, this is a learning process for everyone. So we're just gonna shake it up, shake, shake it up. Um, and as always, guys, if you have questions, fire away. I'll try to answer them. This is a little bit outside of my uh, skill set, but you know we're all learning together. And then um, I'm excited to say next next week we might have two different collaborations with coffee and um, possibly a chef. So we're very excited for that. And we'll see. Uh, we'll see, we might have some fun things next week. But um, if there are other things you want us to do, this was a fan request. So if you have other requests, fire away. We would love to. Um, do stuff that you guys are interested in or if you guys have a particular ingredient in mind you want us to mess with or a, a brew method. I just got a, something called a um, palm press that I'm gonna play with today as, uh, as a brew method. So there's always something fun to play with. All right, so that was about 30 seconds. It's already like feeling like there's no liquid left in here. So it's pretty foamy already. I don't know if you guys can really see um, that. Okay, to this we're going to add one ounce of my home brewed amaretto. You guys know I love this in all of my alcoholic drinks. Oh great, my scale's dead. Um, I do it the hard way. And you guys can use whiskey or bourbon, whatever you like. Um, the darker, the darker ones work better for the flavors that we're working with. Uh, I don't have any of that, so we're going with. Uh, I've actually been told this was originally for a gin drink, but I have no gin at home. Next we're going to add about an ounce and a half of lemon juice. 
And I guess I have to give the, uh, the health department warning here that if you're going to eat um, raw egg, there is a chance you get sick. So make sure your eggs are fresh. I'm just going to use all the lemon juice up. All right, you'll get sick, don't worry. And then lastly, I'm going to put in about an ounce and a half of black tea syrup. This is the secret sauce here. Um, black tea syrup. I'll put the recipe online. It's super easy. You just steep a ton of black tea, uh, very concentrated over sugar, and then dissolve. This has, um, this is delicious actually. I, I might want to use this for more things in the future. Um, all right, so we got our black tea. And then we're just going to put some ice in here. continue shaking. Shake this up again. And then the other thing I was told was vital is to double strain it. Where's my second strainer? Um, right. Where's my second strainer? Yeah, there we go. So, we're going to double strain this. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Uh, so I was told to double strain this. It was the other secret other than doing a dry, um, a dry shake before you mix the drink. And so, oh yeah, there we go. So you can see how frothy that is. And that is the jam here. All right. You want some of the alcohol, I know. You're a little booze hound. This turned out better than it did yesterday, so there we go. And there you have it, an egg foam uh, with black tea syrup, lemon, and amaretto. Cheers, this turned out way better than I thought. So you can see the layer of foam on top. Um, so this is definitely one kind of foam. That is refreshingly tart. You get a lot of the black tea in there. Um, the egg foam doesn't have a taste per se, it's, it's more of a texture and it gives it just like a very creamy consistency to the whole drink. And it's, it's not as strong as you would think, no, but it's very, very tasty on a hot summer day like we're having today. This is definitely going to hit the spot, so cheers everybody. Alright, so now that we're nice and liquored up, let's get um, some more caffeine in our system. So the second drink is actually a matcha drink. So we're going to make a strawberry foam. This one has a lot of steps in it, so bear with me. So first thing you're going to need, blender. Then we're going to need some strawberries. I'll put the full recipe, but this is about a cup of strawberries. Sugar, about a tablespoon. And you don't have to use strawberries per se. You can use, I've seen all kinds of fruits, raspberries, blueberries, anything that can foam up or even froth a little bit, this recipe will work for. So I've seen matcha foam made out of this. Um, you're gonna need a half cup of, uh, rather a quarter cup of water. And then a quarter cup of milk. And then we're just going to blend all this up. All right. Once you have it blended, you want to use a, a bit of a wider container. 
for the next step. So we're going to pour the mixture in here. It should be almost like a um, raspberry or a strawberry, uh, almost like a strawberry milkshake. And then we're going to add the key ingredient, which is uh, lecithin, lecithin powder, soy lecithin powder, which is an emulsifier, and it sort of stabilizes the foam once you create the foam. So that's going to be our next step. You want to add like more than you think you want to add. Like I've seen recipes call for two grams. You probably want to add closer to three or four grams for this much um, liquid. I tried it with less and it just did not do anything for me. Um, so you want about two to three grams of, of soy powder, soy lecithin powder. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. And, and then you're just going to use um, a hand blender to, to froth the whole thing up and create foam. So what you want to do, this, the secret sauce here is to put the, the hand blender half in, half out as you're making, as you're, as you're blending this all together. Um, oops, make a mess here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's creating like a nice, a nice little foam there. If the foam doesn't stay too well, use more of the soy powder. So this is not really forming the way I want it to form. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of the lecithin powder and try that again. And also the more of the mix you use, the better uh, your results will be. I just didn't have that many strawberries. So I'm gonna put a little bit more of this in here and give it another go. See you. I'll give you some. Don't worry. All right. So we got some foam here. Now we need to top it on top of a drink. So I don't know if you can see it. It's almost like a like a stable bubbly foam. Um, again, this is only the third time I've done this. I failed at this like seven times yesterday. So bear with me. Uh, so the next step is going to be to make your Get a little, we're gonna make a shot of honey matcha. So I'm gonna use a teaspoon of matcha powder. Two teaspoons of honey powder. Hi, I see you, don't worry. And three tablespoons of hot water. And so the nice thing about the foam is once you've made it, it'll hold its shape for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and so you don't need to rush to like finish the drink. You make the foam and then it just hangs out. There you go, monster. All right, so we're gonna whisk this together and get our matcha honey shot going. And then we're gonna top it off with some strawberry foam to give it that air, airy aromatic vibe. And so you can see we're gonna whisk this to death. Mix everything up, good to go. And I'm gonna use a fancy double glass thing that I use for tea. So you can see we have like a nice dense shot of matcha in here. And we're just gonna spoon the foam on top of it. Some more foam because you got to just keep doing this. I think if you have like a big dish it's easier to do but I just don't have it. You 
are so pushy. All right, got some more foam here. I'm just gonna keep scooping it and layering it on top. And so I think the trick with this drink is to make sure that you're using enough of the soy lecithin. And eventually you'll get a really cool layer of just um, frothy air, fo strawberry foam on top of your matcha. It doesn't have a, like it's, it's all air, right? It's just bubbles essentially. It's like stabilized bubbles. So you get like a lot of the, um, you get a lot of the aromatics of the strawberry uh, without it being actually like a strawberry milkshake. So I've seen it like, you know, spooned onto things. And then I've also heard you can freeze this and it's almost like an air foam that you can use on ice cream later. Oh, that's delicious. So the cool thing about this drink is you have the hot, warm matcha with a blast of like that bitter earthiness. And then you have this like sweet, strawberry, airy, light, um, cold foam on top of it. Um, so that's just a fun play on textures and flavors and different, um, you know, just different different temperatures. You kind of get a little bit of everything in this drink, which I think is kind of fun. I would be curious to make a bunch of this, freeze it, and then spoon it on top of the matcha. I think that would be super cool, but I couldn't exactly show you how to do that. Um, so if anyone tries a frozen version of this, let me know, because I think that would be awesome to try, and I might play around with this once this video is done. Um, but you do get a lot of aromatics out of this, so I think this is a very cool way of using strawberry in a drink without just making your standard milkshake. All right, all right. Um, so that's it for today. Um, let me know if you guys have any other questions, any other requests. We're going to be uh, messing with some spherification in the next couple weeks too. Um, I've failed at spherification so many times I can't even tell you, so I'm determined to get it right for once. Yeah, you love your strawberries. Um, so that's gonna be kind of the next the next thing, and then like I said, we have a couple collaborations with the chef and with Milk Labs Oatmeal. We're gonna do our oatmeal latte um, with a whole bunch of twists on it. So that'll be next Friday, not this coming Friday. And then, um, yeah, like I said, as always, please send us your suggestions. The last like four or five episodes in a row have been um, user suggestions, so we're very excited that people are, are emailing and letting us know on Instagram what they want us to do. And of course, the little monster gets her goods. She negotiated strawberries in her, and when we renewed her contract for this season. Yeah. Um, thanks as always, guys. Uh, and thank you to everyone who bought a bag of the Found Collaboration Coffee. Like I said, if you guys didn't catch it at the beginning, we raised fifty-five fifty for five different charities through selling um, a special coffee for Found Coffee and, uh, yeah, the apron, right? Um, so we we're very excited to, to raise this money for with Found for these charities. Um, so thank you to everyone who bought a bag of that uh, Costa Rican coffee. Um, meant, meant, the, meant the world to us, meant the world to found, and certainly the charities that are going to get um, over $1,000 each. So we were, we were happy to partner and they're very proud of that. So thank you again for everyone who supported that, that charity drive. I hope the coffee was tasty. Um, thanks for watching as always. And we will be back on Friday with something new, something fun. And um, this little monster will be back. Cheers, everybody.